Alexa, play good morning music. back pony. What's the plan for makeup here? The plan for makeup is Rosie Huntington Whitney. Goals. Like super soft, glowy, pretty look. So pretty. We have about 15 looks and we have three pairs of shoes. Here is the first grouping of looks for Delaney's first hair and makeup look. We have three different hair and makeup vibes. Some simple gold jewelry. And then here is the studio setup. All right, the entire makeup in here is done. Mm -hmm. Looks good, babe. I love it. And the hair with the little flip. I know, it's so cute. So cute. She looks like the first lady. <laughs> Especially with that tweed on. I know. <laughs> These are the first images coming through. Looks so good. I like this guy. Scroll through, yeah. Yeah, just in case. Those are perfect. Oh, those full body ones look yeah, great too. So far, we're about to change into, or I'm not changing, Delaney's changing into. <laughs> about to change. <laughs> I'm doing so much work over here, guys. Now, uh, we're going on to the third hair and makeup combo. Third and final. This next one, is, this is gonna be the braid, right, Haley? What? So you do the braid on this one? I do the braid on Braid, yeah, so we're gonna, Delaney's gonna get a braid. It's gonna be really pretty. And what's the new makeup gonna be? I think we should give you some guy on there. Me? Oh. Yeah. Never mind, I am getting my hair and makeup done. Here we go.
Good job, baby. That was fun. We're finally doing the backyard renovation that we talked about. What was that? When we first talked about it. Two months, three months ago. The contractor's been super busy. Everybody's been doing stuff to their backyard. We were out of town a lot too, so the communication, everything just got delayed. And then finally we found a time that works in our schedule and his schedule to get the work done. So they started today. Take you guys out back. So they demoed all of the dirt, removed all the dirt. They started forming all of this. So originally we were going to do stone back here, if you guys remember. We decided to not do that and we're gonna now do like an ivory colored concrete with turf piping that goes throughout and kind of like a diagonal pattern. So it's gonna kind of have a little French countryside feel to it. The lines aren't gonna be straight. They're gonna be kind of diagonal, so it'll be a little bit different. Uh, we felt like straight lines would have been more modern looking. So that's gonna get done. They've demoed all the way over here as well. We're leaving the fire pit. Fire pit looks so tall. I kind of wish it was this tall. It's pretty short when the concrete's poured. Um, we're gonna do new plants over here. <laughs> they've got the they got the swing set up over here out of their way. That works though. Good for them. So like I said, we're gonna do turf concrete in here. We're gonna restain the deck. The deck's just gonna get a restain refinish on it. The fountain's gonna get new rock and water. We're gonna do new mulch in the planter. And we're gonna do new plants that go up, like a new vine that goes from here all the way up and above the fountain. I think that's, I think we maybe told you guys that last time. But yeah, so we're leaving that that vine, but we like how this one gives kind of just like a more privacy. So we're gonna continue it all the way over here. It's gonna be a different plant, but it will continue all the way over. Lemon trees are staying. We're gonna power wash the concrete counters. And that's about it. We're, oh, act, actually, also we're gonna repaint the all the stucco. So this is stucco, not concrete. So we're gonna paint this kind of like a creamy color too. All of the stucco, so that's stucco. Fireplace is stucco. And this is all stucco. So we're doing it for real this time. And we're gonna leave the fence white. So anyhow, we'll keep you guys updated this week. It should be done, honestly. So soon. Who was that? Bye! You wanted to get in on this? You missed out. Bye! You missed out on the backyard door. It looks nice out there. It's full of dirt. All right, today the concrete is getting poured. Here is all the forming. We're doing like that diamond pattern like I discussed. Uh, so they did all this yesterday and they're gonna pour the concrete today. And they're gonna get started right now. Here's the project manager hard at work reviewing stain samples. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to pick the deck stain right now. Should I stain my deck blue? No, no, no. Okay, Clayton likes this one. No, it's Coke. I? That's chocolate. No, oh, right here. That's chocolate. Oh, oh, he likes this one, sorry. I like that one. I like these ones. That's a color. Oh, it's semi-transparent. You want it semi-transparent? I don't know, babe. We all have time. What do we have to choose? When? Uh, sometime today. Oh my god. I like, I like just a stain. I don't want it painted at all. I think the paint won't look good. Or cedar natural tone. This this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, today we're gonna do something fun now. I am going to style and make up and make over, for lack of a better term, Molly in the Misguided Collection. So obviously she doesn't need a makeover because she's already perfect, but we just thought it would be fun to like play around with makeup and clothes and just be girls. So. I'm going to do her makeup first and then I'm going to style her in a couple of different looks for my collection and you guys vote in the comments which ones you like the best and we'll just get her ready for an imaginary 
beach date or something. All right, so if you're not new here, you already know Miss Molly Mellon. Looks like it's your wedding day all over. I know, Delaney let me borrow her robe for this video. <laughs> I have quite the robe collection, so I was like, put on a robe. That's we're, true. We're gonna feel it. Okay, so you guys already know Molly, and if you aren't as familiar with Molly, this is gonna be extra fun because <laughs> she literally only wears blue, and she's starting to wear some green. Yep. But now that we're playing by my rules, <laughs> there's other colors out there. So we're gonna put her in things that aren't blue today. We're gonna start with the makeup and I'm just gonna speed it up so we can get more into the styling part. So um, we'll show you the makeup and hair and everything once it's done though. Okay. Oh gosh, look what's going on with my hair. We're getting alfalfa. <laughs> We're done with the hair and makeup. Looking gorge, beachy queen. I feel like it's my wedding or something. It is. And now let's style her. Okay, we are gonna style her now. Where? Okay, let's start. We'll start closer to the comfort zone. <laughs> with some blue. So have this little blue top we'll have you put on and then some white slacks. How are you feeling? Good. How are you feeling about that? Good. I'm gonna get some shoes and accessories too. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Guys, look at this little angel. We're gonna do a black bag. How do we how do you show your shoes in these types of videos? Just a little. I'm gonna have little to hold pop. the wall. Pop. Um, these pants are a little long because they're actually from the tall. And Molly's five six. Five six. So she's taller than me. We put her in heels and then we just tucked them a little bit. But they they're snatching her little waist. They really fit really well. And this show them your top closer. Look how cute. This is Avi the top that I ordered from the edit. <laughs> She looks like a, show them the back of that top. The back is so good. You can just like cinch it up to fit perfectly. It's got the little ruffles. It's so cute. I love this top. It comes in peach too. Mm-hmm. You never wear black, huh? Yeah, you can mm -hmm. So this is, you're like so much taller than me right now. Okay, option one. We're playing it safe. How do you feel? Love it. This you is do. my comfort zone. You're feeling comfy? Well, it's, it's a little like sassier, edgier yeah. than I would go. I don't have any slacks or anything like that. They look good on you. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. You're so tall. I want to be that tall. These heels are tall. Yeah. Okay, cute. All right, let's try next. We're going to go in there and we'll come back out and show you guys the next one. Yeehaw, baby. Just go on comfort. Look at them boots. A good male. A good sing a male country, country crooner accent. <laughs> Look who it is. She's going country, guys. You gotta do the pop. Cute. I've literally never seen Molly in something like that. <laughs> I've never worn like, something like, or like in a skirt, really. Yeah. Cute. You got a little. I know, it's so fun. This is one of my favorite pieces in the edit, this skirt. I feel like it's so chic and it feels very European summer like I don't know you can pair it with crop tops but today we actually went with this like we call this I, I think it's like a milkmaid yeah top kind of or like like a sexy pirate vibe mm -hmm. a little bit yeah so she's just like a, a mixture of things right now like a summer country pirate goddess maybe <laughs> And I've never seen her like this. I know, I, I, this is out of my comfort zone. But it's really cute. I think this skirt is so flattering. I love this thing. I, know. I feel like it like draws your eye down. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel slim. Yeah. It's super flattering. And the corset top, like I would wear this with jean shorts or something. Yeah, you would actually wear this yeah. top like I've seen and stuff like. Yeah. Obviously she she wears white stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> she wears white and blue and now some now green. Now green. Yeah. And she loves gray. Um, but yeah, this is cute. And this top is actually like so nice and high quality. This details on it with the little pearl buttons 
And then we tied this around the neck. And it's just, it's a cutie. Okay, so how are you feeling in this one? I surprisingly like it. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to feel like comfortable in this. And while it's out of my comfort zone, I do feel like confident, I would say. Yeah. Cute. Okay. We have one more to show you guys. So this is option two. And I think you're really going to like option three because it has something to do with what you guys always comment about Molly in the comment section. So stay tuned. Oh, you're willing to share? Okay, guys, look who it is. What's her last name? Horowitz. Cher Horowitz. Class of 1996. That's probably right. <laughs> oh my god, show them your shoe. A little tweed number. We got for her a little black key. I don't know how you do that by yourself. Well, it was hard. I just tried. Okay, so this set is a fan favorite. Love this set. We were so surprised when right. we saw it. We're like, this is first lady Jackie O material. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, previously we might have called this the infamous set, but- Oh yes, we, we didn't learned, mean it. <laughs> we learned the other day in the comments, thank you guys for teaching us, infamous is like not a good word. It means a Negative. bad reputation. Yeah. It means you're famous for having a bad reputation. So, like, we love this, so we would have called it, like, oh, the infamous tweed set, not knowing that that's just not the right use of that word. So, we I take it back. It. Yeah, everything, and it's true, it's infamous literally does I think you were trying that. to say it's, like, iconic. It's... Right. That's how I thought it was. So, we're just yeah. doing a PSA in case anyone else thinks infamous means, like, a good, like, iconic, famous piece. It's not true, so. Don't, like, call your mom infamous or yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> infamous, like, yeah. Becky, it's bad. It's We're not going to use it anymore. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so we love this tweed set. It's a chic, little, fun, flirty moment. Super high quality. It really is. It's lined. Yeah. It's a really pretty material. And this is still in your, um, your color palette a little bit. A little bit, but it has like pops of yellow and pink, and it's yeah. actually kind of neon. Right. Which is fun. It's got little shoulder pads. Yep. Shoulder it's pads. So it's frayed. Like, I think you need to go to New York or London or something. Yeah, this is a boss yeah. outfit. Mm hmm Exactly. I like it. Okay, how do you feel on this one? I love this one. Again, I would never buy, like, slacks normally, yeah. but they make me feel, like, very confident. I love the material. This just feels expensive, this yeah. whole outfit. It's honestly such good quality, you guys. Like, we're so impressed. Yeah. So, which one was your favorite? I don't I might have to say this one. Really? Yeah, I feel like I should run my own company in this. I love that. But you could also go to dinner because I think the neon makes it fun. Yeah. Up close. You can't really tell right now. Yeah. But. I feel like you could even wear, like, a leather jacket with it or something if you wanted to. Like, it's, like, oh, a little totally. edgy. But it's very, like, chic and, like... Okay, tell me if I'm wrong, girl. style guru, but I feel like you could put, like, almost, like, a long sleeve <sighs> under this. I love that idea. Like, a Maybe? cropped. So, yeah. like, the skin's still showing, tight... but, like, a even, like, a turtleneck yeah. under in mm -hmm. the fall or winter would be so cute. Yeah. <gasps> I love that idea. You're the style guru. <laughs> No, I got Subscribe for, this is my channel now. <laughs> Just kidding, never. Cute. Okay, so tell us which look you liked the best on Cher, um, Country Pirate, or... <laughs> The was, first one was just like... It was just me. Yeah, it was just sweet little fairy mermaid <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Thank you for being our misguided muse. Side vlog. <laughs> you ready to climb through the window? All right, so the backyard's coming together, and earlier today we stopped by, what do you call those stores? Hardware store? Hard, hard, hardware. hardware store hardware. for some paint samples. We can't go through our slider right now because the deck is stained, and I think it's still drying, so we're gonna have to climb, <laughs> climb through the flip-up. Molly, do you wanna help us pick the paint color? Uh, Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so the concrete and the turf is done, but the concrete 
is not cured all the way. Cured. So it's still darker than it's going to be. Should we put our handprints on it? It's going to be like that light, I think. It's so windy. It's so windy today. Okay, where are the colors? The turf looks so like real. Yeah, it does. It feels pretty real. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it like to lay on it, I wonder? It's so skinny. Like, one light like could this be my new tanning spot? Yeah. Maybe. The deck looks nice. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. No stuff on it, right? No. So they still have to finish the turf in all these areas. Oh. And then I'm doing, it's going to be live plants back here, though. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Like the table's going to cover it. Yeah. But just Where are they because, gonna look like? just like little, like, grassy kind of things. <laughs> like, kind of, I keep using the word natural when describing plants to the landscaper. Like, and I'm like, this is the dumbest, dumbass. I'm using the dumbest freaking word for this. But you know what I mean? Like a natural looking plant. Like organic. Yeah, like, like very organic, like, like wild, wild. Yeah. wild. Yeah. Okay. Because this is tall over here, so if they did the turf to here, this would still be exposed. Yeah. Even though it's behind the table, I was like, let's make it something yeah. that's kind of hiding this. Uh -huh. And same with over here, because this is the old stucco. It wasn't poured very good because remember the dirt used to come up here? Oh, yeah. It used to be high over here. Uh -huh. So we're going to do plants underneath this as well. Okay. And he's going to do new plants in here. Mm -hmm. So we'll kind of like naturally. It will just be a natural evolution. Yeah. Okay. So here are the paint colors. Okay. So what are we painting? All of this stuff. And the All planter, of the stucco. And the fountain, I guess? Yeah. The fountain. Wow. Okay. But we're leaving, we're leaving yeah. the sh like the shiplap and all this white. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking it should just be a very slight white or else you're going to have like a very big contrast between the yeah, white. Yeah, but like, is that okay? I think it might be too does much. Does it need to match that wall? No, it doesn't need to, oh, okay. It doesn't need to match the wall. I'm worried that some of these are skewing yellow. That's right. what Delaney was this. saying. Like that actually does look very yellow. And this looks very yellow. That's very, very yellow. yellow. Oh, that's yellow. I like that. How about this one? I like this one. Cappuccino Cap frog. That was Cappuccino Froth is always a... Cappuccino Froth. Front runner, front runner. Cappuccino Froth. Okay. I like Cappuccino. Where's oh, the skinny God. thing, Clay? I think this one's very nice. Put Cappuccino Froth next to this one, please. Yeah, very similar. similar. This says a little more yellow, right? Yeah. It's like, mm. No, I think it's a little more pink. Mm. A little more pink, pink, is it? That's mannequin cream. Should oh. we hold them up against like? My vote is cappuccino froth. See, that looks nice. I feel like. Yeah. So like that is gonna be. I mean, it's not even that different from what color. It no. Is. But I just don't think it should be pure white. Mm -hmm. Do Let's you go. guys agree with that? Let's go see. Because they have white, but I feel like. Once this is cured and it's like more like this color, mm -hmm. next to a just a pure white. Well, and like you got a lot of white going on. Yeah. Yeah, I think cappuccino froth is good. No, oh, I think that's pretty. Just mm -hmm. like an off white. And like it still looks fine, like next to the fence. Yeah. Like it will be that color. I like it. Okay, cappuccino froth. The stain looks really good on the deck. Or whatever that's called. It looks so nice. Cappuccino froth. Cappuccini froth. Cappuccino, Cappuccino froth. froth it is. We are on the road. On the road again. How does that sound right? Let's do some jazz on the road. On the road again. I just like can't figure out the tune. Stuck in traffic. I love that attitude. We are literally a stopped car on the freeway right now. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. So yeah, we are stuck in traffic. We're on our way to an event for Clayton, this guy. For he's, me today. He's a blogger too. He's a male blogger, taking over the scene, absolutely crushing it. It's true. Thanks, it's true. His um, it's a sponsorship with Coach. He gets designer sponsorships over here, so. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, <laughs> but I don't have to. You're doing great, sweetie. Um, so yeah, we're going to their store in LA at the Grove, and Clean's gonna pick something out, something chic and cool, and I'm gonna be an IG girlfriend. Like, Sweet. I'm there to support you. 
Like not tan that tan. pale. No, that I come through very tan. pale it's on camera. It's very tan hand. I'm tan right now. My hand might just be like a little orange. Yep, so let's Cute. hope this traffic clears up. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that and I'm gonna be behind the scenes taking stories, taking photos, supporting the talent. I'm excited talent to supporting. be in this position. Yeah? I, I prefer to be in this position rather than in front of the camera. Really? Yeah. You're so good in front of the camera. Uh, I would rather take other You're people's You're much more photos. natural in front of the camera than I am. But I just feel like my creative vision doesn't get to come to life when I'm in front of the camera because I can't see what's happening back there and it's not always what I want. Yeah. I feel like I can control it more from behind. True. So I like to take your photos, basically. Alright, let's work our way over. We're our pool lane is moving now. Pool. We'll show you guys the backyard. Really happy with how it turned out. It's so cute and it's just in time to enjoy for the summer. So we're just gonna have dinner at our house and then tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Going to Disneyland. <laughs> you don't even sound excited. Then you guys don't get to come. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we, <laughs> why are you so sassy? Mm. Who is he? I thought I'd give him some sass. Oh my God, Travis got you bent out of shape. Yeah, this is rough. We're going to Disneyland tomorrow with Drew and Molly and Libby Kale. So sorry about that. I'll probably still do some stories, but Disneyland is all ours tomorrow. Let's take this blogger to coach. They're so cool. He's getting his content, of course. They're like a cool vintage feel. Sorry, it's really loud in here. We got a DJ, the vibes are high. But these are so cool. I love these for a man a man purse. You like the white one? I like the white one, personally. I think it looks a little more vintage. Yeah. All right, sorry, it was a little loud in there. So that was loud. Like, that was a party. It was a party. Uh, but we each picked out a bag. Yeah, we should show the them or? Should we show them real quick? Yeah. yeah. So, we each picked out a bag and there was a photographer there and he kept taking photos of us. He was super nice. I just like, I thought I was gonna be the, that I was gonna be laying low, like, didn't have to get my photo taken. So I feel like I looked like a slob for that, but. Oh man, they, yeah, Delaney got looped in. Oh wait, switch. This is my bag. This is my bag. <laughs> How this could also be used cute. as a little toiletry. I know, I was thinking that for you. But it's really nice. So I don't want to like put toothpaste in it all the yeah. time. But Does yeah. it come with a duster? Or yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah, you should keep that in there because I feel like it's really nice. Like, it is really cool. Mine is a little like denim uh, monogrammed coach so print. Cute. It has like a gold chain if you want it to be long too. And I just feel like it's the cutest little thing. It's kind of this like cushiony yeah. feel to it. Like look how cute this is. It looks vintage, which we love. Mine Peyton's like vin vintage too. Is a little crossbody. Yeah, or it's shoulder so, bag. It's like chic. Kind of reminds me of like vintage Zero. NBA style. Oh yeah. I feel like, like it's good for travel NBA. too. Like. We can put the vlog in there, we can put you guys in here. <laughs> like wherever we go, except for Disneyland. Mm, put you in here. Like a little sunscreen. Yeah, put you in here. <laughs> little sunscreen, little vlog, a portable charger. Check out this detail. Your wallet, like don't you feel like you can just put such good stuff in there? The zipper has a little He's ignoring me. corral. Yeah, no, I can put everything in there. Mine has this little like twist. Coach is getting it guys. Go check out your local coach. Yeah, honestly, Coach is rebranding and it's really, honestly, so good. And so many cute uh, They had like a bags. cute rainbow bag. They had a bag with an embroidered bee. I love bees. I feel emotional. All right. But I ended up with this one, who Let's I love. Let's go. We're in the backyard enjoying some sourdough toast. And 
it's pretty much done we wanted to get it into this week's vlog and we still have a couple of things left to do but they're not going to be done in time for the vlog yeah. so imagine with us on the parts yeah. where you have to so the paint's all done this is the cappuccino froth color from benjamin foam Moore. right or Froth. froth, foam, foam or froth. Turn the fountain off for this because it's really loud. We got new mulch. New mulch. We need to pick up these leaves already. I know. Honestly, like the important part is after the yard is done, keeping it nice. Let's let's have. That's on me. Let subscribers leave their best yard maintenance tips. Yeah. Should we have like once a week? Cleanups. Cleanups or like what should we do? How do we how do we keep this nice? Look at the shape of this one. That is weird. Okay. We cleaned out the fountain. Water is crystal clear. And soapy. I don't know why. I think it's soapy because they must have. Okay, so the parts you have to imagine. We're putting creeping fig on that back thing. So like a nice pretty vine. Just kind of going to fill that in a little bit more. More greenery. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll even creep on this a little bit. Mm-hmm. That'd be cute. Creep on up. The turf turned out really good. It feels really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, if, if we had a full yard with this, it would be nice. Mm-hmm. But the concrete's still carrying a little bit, so the color is a little off. Mm-hmm. The discoloration, that'll fix itself. And then back over here, we're going to do live plants. To, live action to hide that back there like little grassy things yeah they're called more grass more m-o-o -O -O more grass more life more grass. and then we painted the fire pit which is now notoriously called the bowl of blueberries via you guys on instagram i love it it's not wrong painted this planter mm -hmm. i planted new bushes this is called a Little ollie. It's, uh -huh. a olive. it's an olive tree bush. And it's gonna get tall, right? Yeah, we'll get like this. Okay. And then I'm not sure what the names of these are. This is called a banana leaf. Oh yeah, it's gonna like hang over the That's edge. Around. And then the one on the right is gonna get taller too, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put more of the more grass mm -hmm. down here. Yeah, more grass all through here. And over there. Little window nook is doing good. It's the oh no, is that a June bug? Where? This? Mm-hmm. Spider. That's spider. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Ew. <laughs> oh. That's the mouth. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So Oh the deck, obviously. The deck got stained. Send us any maintenance tips. We're trying to keep this place nice. We can do it. Thanks, guys.